Hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Kaylin and I have alopecia and I wear wigs and I love to film wig reviews on my channel. So I am back with one today. I am in my room as per usual filming with natural sunlight in front of my bed but you might notice if you've watched any of my videos my room looks different and that's because my husband and I moved so we are getting settled into our new house it has been a little while since I've sat down and filmed but I am really excited to be getting back in the groove of things so we are gonna do a wig review today so today I am reviewing the Haley. This is from the Noriko collection um, from Renee of Paris. And I have to say, this isn't like a first impressions at all. This is my most purchased wig of all time. I think I have bought this color at least three times. And I have bought it in like a reddish color. And I've also purchased it in a super like dark brown color. I will, if I can figure out how to overlay pictures, I'll put um, pictures of the other colors that I bought in here. But um, as you can see, it is just uh, an A-line bob style. It is quite A-line. I'll show you like the back and sides. It's pretty short in the back. She is, or I should say this color is, let's see, I wrote it down, Creamy Toffee R. This is the color that I've bought it the most in. I just really love it for every day. It's rooted, so it's got dark roots at the top. I have to say, this color and this wig, I get asked like almost all the time when I'm out in public, who does my hair or where I get my hair done. So, um, yeah, it's just a really beautiful blonde color with some orangey tones and platinum tones and the roots at the top, so that's the color. It is a synthetic piece, and um, it is just a basic cap. It's not a monotop or a lace front or anything like that, but that has never bothered me. I love lace fronts, of course, and monotops, but it does help the price point on this a little bit, the fact that it is not, but I just love it. I don't mind, and no one, I, I still think it looks very realistic and very real. These are the measurements. So the front is 7.5 inches, the crown is 8.25 inches, and the nape is 2.35 inches. So you can see by the measurements on the nape that it is very short in the back. So yeah, those are kind of the specs on her. That's the color I have her in. Just to um, disclaim, I have had this particular piece for probably, I don't know, over a month for sure. And I have washed it twice. So this is her after two washes. Um, it does come with some permatease, but mine has settled a little bit. But if I turn to the side, maybe, I don't know if you can tell more. Um, there is a decent amount of permatease in the back when she first comes, I will say. A little more than I would prefer, but I just kind of work with it, um, and it eventually kind of settles, especially after washing a little bit. But as you can see, it's just such a cute everyday wig. The bangs just frame the face really nicely. I just really love it. I think it's so flattering. Um, one of the main reasons I really, really love her is I feel like you always look put together and styled, um, which that is the case with most synthetic wigs because they they come with style pretty much built into them, but um, it's just so easy to throw on and go. She's nice and short, so she's really easy to brush out if you've worn her all day. But I was gonna say, like my favorite thing really is you don't get like any friction frizz with this piece, and that is because she sits back up pretty much off your shoulders, um, and like she doesn't rub at your shoulders and your neck. These pieces are longer, but they really only rub. I've noticed if I'm wearing like a hoodie, you know, when the hood is up here or like a turtleneck or a scarf, it can rub a little bit. But for the most part, you can really get away without this wig rubbing at your clothes. And I really feel like that is why, like I can get a lot of life out of this wig. Um, even if I wear it like every single day to where I do have to wash it, regularly I mean she's probably looking pretty tired by the end of this but I feel like I can make this wig last like over a year and for a synthetic piece that is in the price point depends on if she's on sale or what site you use but 
like under $200. I think that's really, really good. So since I bought a new one, I really wanted to do a review on her, but. Oh, I did want to say how I came across um, the Haley. So if you have watched my alopecia journey video, I'll put it up on the screen. I talk about how I had to send my locks of love wig in for repair and I had to reintroduce myself basically to wigs as an adult because I only wore my locks of love for so many years and I went into a little wig shop and I tried on a bunch of wigs with my husband and the really really sweet um shop owner and she put this one on me and I just fell in love with it and I've been repurchasing it ever since so she kind of restarted my you know journey with wigs as an adult and playing with them and experimenting with different colors and you know so kind of like open the doors and that was when I really started to have a lot of fun with wigs so yeah this wigs um, probably one I'm always gonna repurchase as soon as the one I have gets tired I'm gonna get a new one I want to try it in even more colors but this is my absolute favorite color I just think it's so pretty so I'll do a close-up even though I already talked about the color earlier but this is the color and as you can see, I know she's still new, but she just such good movement to the piece. Um, just, I really love it. So let's, I think I've said everything I wanted to say. I've talked about her. So um, I'll do a 360 and then I'll show you guys the inside of the cap. Let's um, show you the inside of the cap. Do not judge my little bangs on the front of my head. They're very long. I need to cut them, <laughs> but it is what it is. Oh, and as you can see too, I love just tucking this piece behind my ears. Still, it looks super cute. It's really easy to keep out of your face. So just such a good everyday wig. I just love her. Highly recommend if you don't mind the, that it's not a monotop or a lace front. But anyway, okay, cap. Okay, so you can see that it is just a basic top. It's like the kind that's made in a machine, I believe. That's what it looks like up close. Um, I feel like that's a little bit of makeup I got on the earpiece, but she has the drawstrings, which I really like the drawstring adjusters. Um, and then just like a wefted, the rest of it is just wefted. So there she is. Okay, I think I said pretty much everything that I wanted to say. Gave you guys kind of the specs and the measurements on her. I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions about the Haley, um, leave a comment below. Like I said, I've repurchased her and had her for a very long time, so I probably have an answer to any question you might want to ask. And if you enjoyed this and it was helpful, I hope that you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos and more wig reviews. And I hope to see you on my next video. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.